So beginning Suboxone at home is safe to do if you take care to follow the directions closely regarding the timing and your dose. When transitioning from full opioids like oxycodone, morphine, or heroin to Suboxone, it's necessary to wait long enough for these other opioids to be mostly gone from your body before starting Suboxone. You know the time is right by how you feel. Remember, Suboxone is a partial activator of opioid receptors. Suppose you still have full agonist opioids on your receptors when you first take Suboxone. In that case, the Suboxone will replace them and then decrease the level of receptor activation very quickly, causing a potentially severe withdrawal reaction called precipitated withdrawal. Now, precipitated withdrawal is a severe withdrawal reaction that occurs if you start Suboxone too soon. So generally, it's not medically dangerous, but it's highly uncomfortable and it can last several hours up to a whole day. If you experience sudden, dramatic worsening of your withdrawal after taking your first suboxone dose, please contact your provider for more direction. They will assess your symptoms and then suggest more wait times and further doses of suboxone. Now, time will always resolve precipitated withdrawal but you may use any comfort medications prescribed for withdrawal to minimize these current symptoms. Please contact emergency services if you experience dizziness, sedation, or have any difficulties breathing. Precipitated withdrawal usually will not happen if you ensure you're already in moderate withdrawal when you first start your Suboxone. Now, moderate withdrawal tells us that most of the effects of the other opioids in your system have worn off, and then it's safe to start your Suboxone. Now, here are some symptoms of moderate withdrawal that you may have heard of. Anxiety, restlessness, runny nose, watery eyes, yawning, diarrhea, muscle cramping, and poor sleep, just to name a few. The most essential part of ensuring a safe Suboxone start is waiting long enough between your last opioid use and then the first dose of Suboxone. Your provider will have told you the minimum amount of time to wait before assessing your actual current withdrawal symptoms. This timing depends on the type of opioid last taken and it can vary from 12 to 72 hours. So please wait the amount of time that they told you before starting your Suboxone. If you don't remember how long they told you to wait, please ask. They'll gladly help you. Now, waiting longer is always safer than accidentally starting your Suboxone too soon. Lastly, during your induction, you may feel slightly better, slightly worse, or actually no change at all. Any of these outcomes is expected. It is important to know once again that dizziness, increased sedation, lethargy, sleepiness, trouble breathing, or a sudden and severe increase of withdrawal symptoms are not typical, and it's probably best to go ahead and call 911.